How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Franklin Pro Sensor M210 with 13 built-in sensors to find your studs. Today I'm going to measure how accurate it can find your studs and go over all the features as well as check out what's inside this thing. It has a handy level gauge right in the center. If you poke your finger in here, you can slide out a handy storage for your pencil. Push on one side, lift off the top, held together by these little posts that goes into these holes over here. That's where the pencil is stored. They recommend you to use alkaline batteries although I did use some rechargeables before and it did work. There are 13 sensors in here, but there are 21 LED markings. High voltage detector, there are markings along each LED position. On the bottom, there are two strips of low friction pads. This feels similar to the stuff they put underneath mice. If you slide it around, it's pretty low friction. I'm gonna open it up. Don't do this at home. The circuit board is glued into the bottom plastic panel and the LEDs numbers from L0 to 20 for 21 LEDs. There's some ICs here to do the measurements. And when you're pushing the main button, it's that little button down there that you're pushing. This tells me that it's not a mechanical switch. So if you put your batteries in for an extended period of time, it will drain them. On the underside of the cover, you see a lot of these light pipes that feeds the LED lights to the top. When the LEDs are on, it actually leaks from one side to the the other a little bit. That's because this is one whole piece and light is leaking from one side to the other. Replace the top. I have a piece of sample drywall and a two by four. Let's move this across the stud slowly. It turns on right there. It says there's a stud and let's see when the, fir oh, the first one turns on there. So I'm gonna mark the drywall and we can see how close that is. Pretty dang close for the first edge. And as I move slowly across there, the second LED turns on a little bit after. Let's see the third one. Fourth. Fifth. So let's mark that. Right when it reaches this line, this LED should turn off. For this LED, let's see. It turns off right there. Turns off right there. Turns off right there. If you blindly just put it on, these lights are on, so let's just mark it there and there, right? It's correct enough, but then if you wanna be very, very accurate about it, you would use the way that I just described. If you move it left and right, you can see it kinda shifts one LED. So now let's do the two by four on the flat side. The edge light turns on and then the first light turns on right there. If I use the same method, it turns off right there. So it's about a quarter inch off on this side. Doesn't work as well for flat edge two by fours. It's probably tuned for best accuracy when it's straight like this. Now I got a live AC cable running along this two by four. Let's see how it does for this one. All six LEDs are flashing on. It's saying there is something there. As I go further enough away, now I got only one high voltage light. So you can kind of feel where the center of the high voltage line is. The black parts on this thing is kind of rubbery grip. And there you have it, very accurate. If you're interested in this stud finder, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.